When the war cry of freedom first rang through the land, they looked for a hero to take command. Then there came from Virginia a hero of fame. All hail to his glory, all hail to his name. All hail to George Washington, leader of men. Columbia's favorite son, president number one. Hail to this leader of men. In 1775, he spoke to his army and said he would strive to lead them to victory when all was done. And then by the year 1781, Cornwallis, the Englishman, had to admit that he was defeated, and so he retreated, and England retired and quit. February 22nd, on one early morn, in 1732, he was born. And because he was brave and he showed us the way, they call him the father of our USA. George Washington was both so great and so fine. And in 1789, all the people decided that he was so grand that they made him first president of the land. All hail to George Washington, leader of men, Columbia's favorite son, president number one. Hail to this leader of men. <laughs> In the state of Massachusetts, a patriot was born In 1735, on a cold October morn This man was called John Adams, a hero brave and true And the people all selected him as president number two As a lawyer and a patriot, he was brave beyond compare he opposed the English stamp tax, he said it wasn't fair. And for the revolution, he worked with all his might. He helped to write the peace pact that ended the fight. Mr. John Adams on freedom was bent. Remember John Adams, our second president. Along with Thomas Jefferson, he labored day and night on a very famous document they both helped to write. It brought the throne of England away across the seas. They declared the independence of the American colonies. When Washington was made the first leader of the land, Adams was vice president and second in command. In 1797, without further ado, the people all selected him as president number two. Mr. John Adams, on freedom was bent. Remember John Adams, our second president. 